Hey Taurus, Elsie here to do a reading for you. It is a bonus reading, my friends. How are you? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for clicking here. Uh, just thought I'd come, come by and throw a bonus read for you, my friends. I do have a few other bonus reads that I'm doing this week, so I thought I'd start with the bull gang. Thanks, uh, Taurus, for all the ways that you love me. Thanks for um, being in the comments, your thumbs up, all the ways that you uh, bless this channel. I appreciate you. Let's find out what's going on for Taurus here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What's the most important thing? So Taurus, you know that when I, if you've been here before, you know that that I don't date or time these readings. They, I, I do um, them for the current energy or future energy. If it doesn't resonate with you today, it may could resonate with you another day, but it is a general reading. Please keep that in mind. It won't always be your reading. Tell me about Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus, we have some sort of a new uh, path that you're going on here. The Fool, right? I feel like you're not taking really anything with you. I want to say that you're taking with you your happiness, um, sort of the, the thoughts that you have. I feel like there's a very small bag on your back with just your necessities, and I think you're taking either your spirit animal or uh, the person that you trust the most. It, it's probably an animal. <laughs> probably it is. But the fool is about taking some type of a leap of faith. And this is the educated leap of faith though, right? You've already gone over some details and figured out what, what it is that you are um, dealing with once you get to the bottom of that, of that little cliff that you're jumping off of there. You're aware if there's water or rocks at the bottom, right? Tell me about the fool, please. Tell me what's coming up for Taurus. We've got the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you're feeling left out of something on the outside looking in. And so I feel like you're taking a leap before the tower falls. That's what it feels like here. I want to say that somebody here has a feeling that the tower is going to fall. And so I feel like someone is just jumping instead of instead of waiting for the tower to fall because for me as a reader when the tower's in the reverse it is about a warning this is like you know first of all you get the still small voice right the whisper hey hey pst, <laughs> something's coming up right and then when it gets when you don't pay attention to it you put it on the back burner it gets a little louder and then finally it falls in right and that's when the tower's in the upright but the tower being in the reverse is a warning i want to say that um that you decided to leap before the tower fell in there is something that you've been manifesting that I think is on the way. And I think that is the thing that is going to make you take this risk or this leap of faith. And I want to say you go from like the five of pentacles to the tower in reverse, which is the warning that something is about to change. And then the magician is here. So I feel like you've been manifesting the change, but maybe you've been manifesting the change because you've been left on the outside looking in or you're feeling in lack, or this could be financial impact. Maybe you've been manifesting more money. So I feel like you are taking action here that you're going to take action tell me why the tower's in reverse please tell me why the tower's in the reverse we have the queen of wands we have the six of swords and we have the seven of pentacles i feel like you have been waiting for movement somebody here is i feel I feel like you are the boss babe, I want to say. Feminine or masculine, right? Maybe you're the boss babe, maybe you're the boss guy. Um, but the Queen of Wands is telling me that you are someone who does it all on your own, right? You're independent. You do it all on your own. You might run a business. Um, you're the person who is like always on the path of passion of what you want. You're going to get the things that you want. You work really hard. You're the master manifester, right? And you sit on this throne even after everything that has come to kill you only made you stronger and you are very strong. But I feel like although you are very strong, I want to say that this is a very lonely place to be. And that's that's the part that nobody tells you about the healing, right? You know who you are. <laughs> if I'm talking to you, you know who you are. You get to a place in your life when you decide that you're going to heal. And... Um, when you do finally do the healing, it gets to be lonely. Because guess what? You start to realize that most of the people you are hanging out with or a lot of the people that you have anything to do with are people who are not willing to move or change. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. And so what happens? You have to go on your path because that's what you're doing. You've got the fire. You've got the inspiration that you need to go down this path and go get whatever's, whatever's yours, right? 
you feel very excited, very expressive, it's time for you to go get what's yours. And so you've got movement in your life. But I feel like sometimes that you kind of look back and you're like, but I wish I could take somebody with me. Because the, the Seven of Pentacles is like, I'm waiting. I wish I could take somebody with me. Because it's lonely. When you begin to heal and you begin to do your own thing and you build that business or you become fire, right? You just go, you go, um, um, you feel inspired to go get the things in life that you want. But you're going to realize that other people in life are just would rather be in the Five of Pentacles. So they hang back. They don't come with you. And I think that you do want to take someone with you. But I feel like you're going to have to move forward on your own, Taurus. I feel like you're waiting for someone to put their hand up and say, yeah, I'll come too. But I don't think anybody's doing that. Tell me about this, um, this fool. Tell me about the beginning of the cycle, because that's what the fool is. It's card number zero because it is nothing, but it's every possibility. When we start at zero, um, it's like whatever we want it to be. It's the clean, clean slate, right? Tell me um, about this new new opening here, this new clean slate. What are you doing here, Taurus? We have the chariot, we have the seven of swords, and we have the king of cups. The seven of swords is looking back at the king of cups. But the ace of wands, or sorry, the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. Taurus, I feel like there is somebody here who you feel has kept their feelings under the surface. Somebody that you feel has been trying to sort of get away with not really telling you how they feel. This person is somebody who I feel doesn't give you as much attention as you want them to give you. I think it breaks your heart. I think this person plays really under the surface. And what you want is victory, right? The chariot's here. You're on the motorcycle. You're ready to go. Your energy is balanced. But you're waiting for the King of Cups to catch up. And, you know, the King of Cups is the one who's emotionally available. This person's emotionally intelligent. They're very protective. They're ready for a relationship. But there seems to be silence or secrets between you. Because I feel like you're in the chariot ready to go and the King of Cups is looking the other way. So you're like, where is the King of Cups? So I feel like you're waiting here. The thing is this. Ah, that's the thing. That's why the tower's in the reverse. I feel like you're waiting for the King of Cups to notice you, tell you that they want you, express their love, whatever it is, but they're hiding it. It's like it's a secret in the Seven of Swords. The thing is, is that you're, you're here. You're in the chariot and you're ready to go. You're ready to take the leap. And I feel like you're stalling. Because you're looking for the King of Cups. Is the King of Cups pulling up the rear? Like, where is the King of Cups? And I feel like if you don't take the leap, the tower is going to fall. I feel like you have to go either way. Either way, your manifestation is here and you've got to go. And I think your manifestation is something that's really inspiring you to move forward. Tell me what the, the, um, tell me what the manifestation is, please. Tell me what the manifestation is. Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Ten of Wands. See, I feel like you want this manifestation. I feel like you want to move forward. I feel like whatever you want wants you, and I feel like you want to go out there and create and create and create. You're the creator, right? You've got all of the, the aces in hand, and you're the creator. You're in the chariot. You're ready to go, and you're like, where's my person? I want to take them with me. The Ten of Wands is here telling me that um, not putting any energy into it or not moving forward to the opportunities that you want to move forward to is going to become very heavy and burdensome. So I feel like you are back and forth, back and forth, trying to make a decision about your manifestation. Like it's going to come in whether you want it to or not, and then you're going to have to make a decision about what you're going to do real time in the pentacle world. And you're wondering, do I want to take the next opportunity or do I want to wait for the King of Cups to show up? Tell me about the decision. Got the Star, got the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups. So I feel, Taurus, that there is a soulmate here. 
I feel like there is a soulmate that you've been manifesting. You've been trying to manifest them into your life. I feel like you're losing hope doing that. Now, I feel like this soulmate is different from the King of Cups. I feel like the King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, is somebody who's hiding their feelings from you. They are, like, they might have said, I'm ready for a relationship, or I'm looking for a relationship, or maybe it's time to get into a relationship, but I don't think they've asked you. I think that they're keeping it sort of under the surface with you. They could be a Cancer. Because the chariot's here, and that's that's a cancer deal. Cancer likes to keep everything under the surface. So I feel like you're waiting to take a leap of faith. The thing is this, is if you don't take the leap of faith, the tower's going to fall. And I don't think that it's a bad thing that the tower's going to fall, because I feel like it's almost like you're manifesting. You're manifesting something else, but you're like, I wish that it was the king of cups. But I'm manifesting my love with the soulmate, right? I'm manifesting love with this person that I've either known for a long time or they feel like a soulmate. I'm manifesting it, right? And I think that this person may have walked away from you at some point. You're trying to manifest them back into your life and you're losing hope that this person is going to show up. It's becoming burdensome that no one is putting any effort um, into this. And so I feel like you need to make a decision now. Do you want to wait for the King of Cups or do you want to continue manifesting this person who I feel that you have a lot of love for that you're hoping will show up as your manifestation. Tell me about um, the Fool in the Tower here. Got the Eight of Wands. You're getting some incoming communication that is going to give you justice. It's somebody who's never been able to let go of you. Um, this could be the King of Cups. It could be, but it could be this person who is the, who is the soulmate. We do have the Five of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords. So... That's what the delay is. The delay here is the reason that you're waiting is you're waiting for the king to make up his mind. But in the meantime, you're manifesting a soulmate. I feel like your manifestation is not the king, but you think the king is your person. I feel like there's a totally different soulmate, like a new person waiting in the future. Somebody that you've known before, either in this life or in another life. There is somebody here that I feel that you will meet in the future. So it's like this, I feel, Taurus, it's like this. I feel like, I don't feel like either one of these is a bad decision, I'm going to say. That's not what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is, is that with this king, you have history. I feel like there's maybe been some some stuff, maybe you, you guys have had some endings and new beginnings. It feels like you can't let go of each other because we've got the devil here, which is like I'm holding on to you really, really tightly here. I feel like this person and you and, and the king, I feel like you guys talk a lot. That's your justice, I feel. But I feel like you do get into places that are sticky, sticky situations. The Five of Swords is here. We have fundamental differences. Um, I don't like the things that you like, and you're not going to concede, and neither am I. And the Queen of Swords has got to liberate themselves from the situation. But I feel like the reason that you're that you're holding back or just not saying anything because these are all swords up in your head is that you know that you'll probably have to end something with the king of cups and so i feel like it's a decision <laughs> is what it is if you keep manifesting and this person shows up in the future you're starting to lose hope that this person's ever going to come so it's almost like this person is I'm just going to say it out loud, the Queen of Swords, right, is the Constellation Prize. It's like somebody here doesn't want to be without a person. So they're not willing to wait as long as it takes to wait for the future. This person is in your life right now, I feel, and I feel it's a good relationship, but I feel like it's on again, off again. If it is Cancer Energy, it might be like this person doesn't really, you know, bring their feelings to the surface. It could be Scorpio too, not doesn't really bring their feelings to the surface. And I feel like that you two have had conversations that have left you out in the cold, and that's why you're on this path alone, doing the thing that you want, the thing that you want to do, and being, you know, going after your passions, your dreams. But I think that really what it is, is you're waiting because you want to take somebody with you in that boat. When you move forward, you want to take somebody with you. Is it going to be this person, or is it going to be the king? Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be, Taurus? Are you just going to go for for this king because the king is near and wants a relationship? Or are you going to wait for the soulmate that's in the distance? We've got the four swords. 
the moon and the strength card. I feel like you're going to hold out for the soulmate. And I think this is somebody that you're already acquainted with. And if you're not already acquainted with them, it's going to feel like you've known them forever. But the, the weight is what is burdensome. Because I feel like you are here in the Four of Swords waiting and waiting and waiting, not knowing when this is going to come. So I feel like I feel like you you do want companionship. This person is available emotionally, but you're like, but what about what I've been manifesting? King of Swords is in the reverse. Why is that? Why is that? Eight of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Taurus, I, I feel like you you are it feels like you you do want if if you had if you had to make the decision, Taurus, I think it's this. I feel if you had a decision and the decision could transpire in front of you in this very moment, I think that you would choose the soulmate. I feel like you would choose to fall in love with the soulmate, but I feel like you are losing hope that this is ever gonna happen. So for some of you, you're going to take the King of Cups, which I don't think is a bad is a bad choice because this person is protective and kind and, and emotionally available and all of that. The thing is, is that this person is on again, off again. And that sort of rings true with, with the Cancer energy. It's like as soon as you ask this person to bring all of that to the surface, that's when things start to break down. We start to have arguments and then I got to liberate myself and things are in balance for a little while, but then we're so attached to each other that we can't let each other go. We do a lot of, we do a lot of texting to each other, but maybe we don't see each other face to face. It seems like there's a complicated history here, but I also feel like, I also feel like um, that you you're wondering, is this going to be so much work that I don't even want it by the time it arrives? Because you're, you're beating yourself up over Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is putting the hard work in on something, but what if there's competition for this person? Like, I feel like you're talking yourself out of it slowly, talking yourself out of this manifestation. So I think that I'm just going to leave it here because I feel like some of you are going to close the door and, and on this, and you're going to go with the King of Cups. Um, but the thing is, is that this person I feel is emotionally available, but not telling you about their feelings. So they're not, they're not, they haven't expressed that to you yet. But I also feel like for some of you, you're going to decide, decide not to wait for this. You're going to go for this. And for some of you, you're going to close this off because it's been on again, off again. You're going to liberate yourself from the situation and go with this, go with the six of cups, even though you're losing hope that, you know, that this person, maybe there's too much competition for them. Maybe this person doesn't even want to talk to me. Yeah, because of the argument we had sword and the one of the hand of king of the swords. And then we have the four of swords, five swords. So I think you're holding yourself back right now. As we look at it right now, I think that you're holding yourself back and you haven't made a decision yet, but you are closing the door on somebody. You're closing a chapter with either either waiting for the manifestation or with the king of cups. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to go for now. Love you guys and I'll be back because I'm always back. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.